To determine if something is an acid or a base or neutral, we need an indicator, which will turn a different color when in contact with an acid or a base. There are several indicators we can use, like goldenrod, phenolphthalein, litmus paper, acid-base neutral paper, and pH paper. We will record our observations on a chart such as this one. We're going to compare the color we observe to a known chart, such as these, to determine if it's an acid, base, or neutral. The two substances we're going to test are bathroom cleaner and fruit juice. First, we'll test the bathroom cleaner using goldenrod paper. Goldenrod paper turns gold to red for bases. You can see the goldenrod paper turned a bright red. That means the bathroom cleaner is a base. Now we'll put goldenrod paper into the fruit juice. It's still gold, which means the fruit juice is either neutral or acidic. Next we'll try phenolphthalein paper. Phenolphthalein will turn from white to pink for a base. You can see the bathroom cleaner turn the phenolphthalein paper pink. When placed in fruit juice, the phenolphthalein paper stays white. So the fruit juice is either neutral or acidic. Our next indicator is litmus paper. Litmus paper comes in two types, blue and red. Let's start with blue. Blue litmus paper turns red for acids. When dipped in the cleaner, the blue litmus paper stays blue, which tells us it's either a base or neutral. When dipped in the fruit juice, the blue litmus paper turns pink. Litmus paper also comes in red. Red litmus paper turns blue for bases. When dipped in the cleaner, the red litmus paper turns blue. When dipped in the fruit juice, the red litmus paper stays red, which tells us it's either neutral or acidic. Another indicator is acid neutral base paper. If it stays gold, it's acidic. If it turns green, it's neutral. If it turns blue, it's a base. When dipped in the cleaner, the acid neutral base paper turns purpley blue. When dipped in the fruit juice, we can see that it remains a gold color. We can now use pH paper. But this pH paper comes in different kinds. First, we'll try for pH 0 to 13. The pH paper tells you more than just acid, neutral, or base. It tells you the pH value. You look at the color, compare the color to the known chart, and you can get a value for the pH. When dipped in the bathroom cleaner, the pH paper turns a dark blue. According to this chart, we can see a dark blue indicates a pH of 12. Dipping the pH paper for 0 to 13 in the fruit juice, it looks like a yellow color, which indicates a pH of 5. Another kind of pH paper is for the pH between 2 and 10. 
we want to compare the value to the chart. We can see the cleaner shows up as a dark blue or purple, which indicates a pH of 10 or higher. Dipping the pH paper for 2 to 10 in the fruit juice, it comes up orange, which indicates a pH of 4 or 6. We can also use pH paper made for really strong bases with a pH between 12 and 14. The bathroom cleaner is showing up as a blue. According to this chart, that would indicate a pH of around 12.5. Based on all our testing, we can see that the bathroom cleaner is a strong base with a pH around 12. The fruit juice is a weak acid with a pH around 5. Here are two new substances that you can try. Record your observations on a chart like this, and using the key here provided, we can figure out if it's an acid or a base and the pH value. The first substance is hydrogen borate. The second substance is laundry detergent. Based on your observations and the chart provided, you can determine whether these substances are acids or bases.